Cincinnati and Memphis are underway. And it is a short kickoff from the 10 yard line. Clay Brooks on the return. And he has dazzling speed. Clay Brooks into open space. And Chris Clay Brooks scores. Another house call for Memphis. There is a flag down as they have put another one in on a kickoff return. It was a late flag. It's at the 23 yard line. This has been given its first sideline warning of the game. You trade a sideline warning for an <laughs> opening kick six any day. Absolutely. We, we've talked about the explosiveness of their offense, but how about Pete Limbo's special teams? He coaches this, and he said he had these guys primed for this game, some stuff ready, and right off the bat. There they go. This is a closer. And he's got it again. He said, park me anywhere. I'm happy to boot it through for you. Gainwell will take the snap. It's a lead play, and he's going to lead it all the way inside the 10. Uh, Forrest had to take him down. What a alignment mistake by Cincinnati. At tempo. There they go, pistol into a regular shotgun. And White is over the middle, right near the goal line. Kadarian Jones, touchdown! It was a battle to get in, and he busted down the door. How about the way he finished that game? It's simple crossing route. But well, watch Jones. Watch him finish this. He knows he's got people in front of him. Lower the shoulder. That's like a running back. That's not a wide receiver. Lead dog, if you will, will wind up in the cotton bowl. So we got a pretty good race going. We have a pretty good race going here, too. Kadarian Jones. Ball pop free. Ahmad Gardner's got it for Cincinnati. And they let it play out. Jones. Had the ball spring free, and Cincinnati's freshman Gardner caught it. Well, here's the, the end of the, the play, defense. and you it's see the ball down. actually. I think he's actually down before that comes out. That anyway, I agree. Review. Again, you need indisputable video evidence to overturn. Yeah. yeah, he he hits with his left leg and elbow before that ball comes out. That was a run pass option, and the guy who makes the tackle, Jarrell White, he was the guy who came up to defend the run. So great hustle by him to get back. After further review, the runner's left knee was down before the ball became loose. Therefore, it'll be Memphis's football. First... Riley Patterson. Knocks it through from 34. Memphis by 14 will be back. Ryan looking the other way. And on target right at the 50 for Rashad Medeiros. That's a nice ball down. Quarterback position. Saw him on the sideline signaling plays in injury today. Quick throw, touchdown. Cincinnati's first score, Leonard Taylor, the tight end. Number five on the depth chart, number one in their hearts. Six foot five, 250 pounds, just a, a quick little slant for him. And with that big body, once he's inside, you see a little bit of a pick there to keep guys outside, and it works. Bryant slings it. And he's got the tight end to Guara for a Cincinnati 11. It rip again to Guara one more time, and he's got a Cincinnati to pass up for him. Warren is in touchdown. What a drive from Cincinnati. That left side of the line, really powerful. Harper moved inside at the left guard spot, got a nice block inside. And then all you see at the end is Warren's strong leg. from 
28. Sticks it to give Memphis the lead. Tigers by three. We're back in much. One year of high school football. Bryant intercepted. Jacoby Francis lost the ball back. And now Hall says Memphis has it at the bottom of the pile, but there is treachery at the bottom of every scrum. We'll find out. It is Memphis football. And Francis did a tremendous job coming back to pick off that ball. He was sitting in a short zone and just kept drifting and watching the quarterback's eyes. Brian. Brian never sees him. He, he just thinks, I got one guy to beat. But Francis was near the line of scrimmage, only about five, seven yards deep, and kept watching and kept drifting. Good job by DeGuara to strip right there. Part of the bunch on third down. Pressure got there. Bryant lost the ball. Memphis has it at the bottom of the pile. Wilson sprung it free. Excellent job by Memphis defensively. Bryant wanted to go to DeGuara his tight end, but he was doubled, so he had to pull it down, and he didn't put the ball away. Excellent job by Memphis getting in there, surrounding him, and forcing that ball out, because he wanted to go to, they don't believe that right now. White got a block from Taylor, and Brady White throws it to the sideline, incomplete. Yeah, you get nothing out of it. He came to the short side with a roll that way. Don't have many options. Warren, a little hesitation. And he found a crease. Warren across the 50, and he's got a first down Cincinnati. A chance. They're going for it. Fourth down, Warren back in. And he is stopped. So Dokes got him a half yard short. Warren is stonewalled. What is it with these coaches that don't like points? <laughs> Taylor reverse back to White he loads it up down the middle of the field touchdown DeMonte Copsy brought it in They put the formation into the boundary and got all the Cincinnati players over there, totally confusing them. Single coverage down the field for the end of the trickeration. And we talked about Coxy, six foot three, and his leaping. Bryant slings it, and he's got it. Pierce inside the 20 yard line. Alec Pierce, a big rip for all in front, and they still get behind. If he had hair, he'd be pulling it. That's true. <laughs> Bryant. Touchdown. Keep that ball, young man. His first on the ground. And Cincinnati's within one score. This is the zone read, which is a staple of their offense, but they haven't run it much today because Ritter, the normal quarterback, is good at it. They don't want Bryant to do this very often, but he completely fooled. Game. Gainwell. Fearing for a huge Memphis first down. Now gives it back and gets it back. First down Memphis for this. The muscular wide receiver. And they'll run it. Gibson. First down.
most consistent defensive back had been out. He's back in, cast on hand, sees this ball hanging in there, and doesn't have to really work too hard to come up with it. He's got that cast, uses it to help cradle the ball. That's a nice pick. He didn't have to worry about using two hands and going up high.